Hello, sports fan. This is Stephen Hill with Sports Choice Plus, and I'm bringing you a very special breakdown. I'm going to be covering the New Orleans Saints taking on the San Francisco 49ers. Before I get right into that, I want to make sure you're subscribed to the YouTube channel so you can get all the updates and all the breakdowns. We're going to get right into this one. This was a juicy one. The New Orleans Saints did uh, suffer a loss a couple of weeks ago, and we saw them have a players-only meeting. Alvin Kamara spoke up. And you saw exactly how they've been playing since that players-only meeting when Alvin Kamara called it back a couple of weeks ago. They've been playing a more inspired brand of football. Their play calling has been better. Their energy on the sidelines has been better. Their, their, their enthusiasm at the game, and this is for the Saints, has been better. And it was roughly three weeks ago, coming off of a bye week. And you're, you're looking at the Saints now, and the way that they're playing, even in losses, the way that they're playing is better. You saw the way that they played the Rams. They they did what they had to do. They beat the Rams. And you're looking at just the way that they're playing. Their trajectory right now is saying this team is going to finish strong. San Francisco 49ers, of course, in Mexico City, we saw that big game take on the Cardinals, and they abolished the Cardinals. When you're looking just at the defense is getting healthy for the 49ers. Let's just be, let's just start there. Bosa and company are slowly getting healthy to the point where this team is becoming a wrecking ball. You know offensively about Debo. You know about Christian McCaffrey. You know about the wide receivers that they have, Debo Samuel, uh, Kittle at the tight end position. And Jimmy G is just simply giving them the ball and getting out the way. This is the dangerous part of, about the Niners team. They can beat you in so many different ways. You can't double Christian because then Debo becomes open. You can't do Debo because then George Kittle all of a sudden flies open. You can't do that because... Akeem gets open over there. You got so many different weapons you got on the offense, and then you you fail to realize Kyle Shanahan is like a kid in a candy store. He's drawing up plays for everybody to where the play, it could be meant for Kittle, but all of a sudden, you got Christian McCaffrey running up the sideline, wide open for the ball. It's a number of things that he can do with this one. So with this offense that they're running, everybody potentially could be a, a decoy or either be the main guy on the play. So this is the exciting thing about the offense for the uh, for the 49ers. And you're looking exactly at the Saints. The Saints are starting to get that mojo back where they're calling plays. Alvin Kamara is going to have to have a big day for this team to keep up with the 49ers on offense. I think that the, the 49ers defense is going to have a little trouble with Alvin Kamara, though. I, don't think, I know that they face a lot of good backs this year, but Alvin Kamara is a different beast. When he gets his shoulder pads on and he has an attitude, he runs in between the tackles and outside the tackles. He's a Christian McCaffrey kind of guy where he can catch the ball. He can do the screen game. He can do a number of things. He can block well. So when that young man gets motivated, number 41 can really do some damage for the Saints. Um, the wide receivers are going to have to step up for the Saints in this one for them to have a chance to win this one. But I think the 49ers are a little too much in this one. I think, you know, they've got the ball rolling and they're headed towards their playoff run. They see that they can make a couple of climbs up. They want to get to at least the number two spot. I don't know if they'll be able to catch the Eagles in the number one spot, but they, they feel like they can catch Dallas. They feel like they can catch uh, the Vikings. They feel like they can overtop these teams, but they're just going to have to keep winning if they want to do that. And I think that Kyle Shanahan and company are going to get the job done. I think it's going to be a very close game. I don't think this is going to be a blowout. I think the Saints offense is going to keep them in this one. And I think you can see the Saints defense make a couple of plays in this one. But um, I'm picking the 49ers to win this one. And I think that, you know, the Saints, no no knock on them. The Saints are a good football team. They're just getting their feet under them and really getting their, their, their wings under them for the rest of the season. So all you Saints fans, all you 49ers fans, get in the comment section below. Definitely check out Sports Choice Plus, and we'll see you in the very next video.